What if Taylor Swift spoke in a voice no one's ever heard? I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed, or worse, expelled. What if the Mona Lisa came back to life and spoke flawless English?、Um, but you can imagine, I have a lot of questions. So、um, I'd love to begin with you. And what if we could shift Emma Watson's facial expression with same voice? Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. The lines between art and reality are about to blur. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to AI Printify, where we dive deep into the awesomeness of local AI tools. I'm Stephen. Your friendly neighborhood AI whisperer, and I'm Agent K here to keep Stephen grounded, or at least try to. You know, make sure he doesn't float off into the digital ether. Get it? Float. Because today we're going to talk about float. Haha, <laughs> you're always on point with the puns. Speaking of floating, did you guys catch our video on Latin sync here? We had a blast making Avatar talk, almost like magic. But guess what? The AI world never rests. And today we've we've got something even cooler to show you, much faster. I'm talking about in seconds. That's right. Prepare yourselves for Float, the new kid on the block that's about to blow your digital minds. Imagine simply take just a picture and an audio file, and boom, you've got a talking avatar ready to rock your socks off. Exactly. No fancy video inputs needed this time. Just one static image, a voice, and the power of AI to bring it to life. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking: Isn't this like Sonic? They are also offering a static image lip sync, and you're not wrong. They share a similar concept of audio-driven lip syncing for talking avatars. But here's where Float really shines. It's all about that high-quality close-up portrait shot with emotional tweak, and it's really fast comparing to Sonic and Latent Sync. I meant real fast with entry-level machine. Stephen, it sounds so good. The emotion tweak is something new. Can you quickly show us how to get the float up and running on Comfy UI? Absolutely. First things first. If you haven't installed Comfy UI in your machine, you can check my previous video out on the installation process. It's super easy as you just need to install it via Pinocchio. Before we start the Comfy UI, let's check out Comfy UI Float GitHub page. You can download the Float workflow here for later use. For more details, click on their official Float GitHub page here. Float is a generative motion latent flow matching for audio-driven talking portrait. We'll learn more here, and they've several examples for your reference. Okay, shall we start the Comfy UI now? Sure. To make things easier, we just need to drag and drop the downloaded workflow here. It prompts missing node types. Then we go to Manager and hit Install Missing Custom Nodes. It shows Comfy UI float. Just click Install and wait. It prompt Restart. Then restart the Comfy UI or maybe restart the Pinocchio totally. Now the float custom nodes is imported. Here is the Comfy UI float. Once the Comfy UI fully starts, just reload the page. Then we can play around the float. This workflow is simple. It only consists six nodes. FPS is frame per second. 25 is good enough. If you lower the FPS, then the lip sync may not be accurate enough. Next node is image loading. Just drag the avatar picture to upload. If your picture is a headshot portrait with 512 times 512, then you are good to go. But if your picture, like mine, is a half body shot, then the resolution should be higher. In my case, I use 1024 times 1024. It gives a clear headshot for float to crop. Then load the audio by drag the audio file. It support quite a number of formats. For example, Opus, FLAC, Wave, MP3, etc. I picked a nine-second Wave file. It doesn't explicitly state any limitation of the maximum audio length, but I tried a three-minute song. It worked flawlessly. For ACFG scale, it scales audio feature influence on visuals and RCFG scale. It adjusts reference image feature influence on visuals. You can play around those parameters. Let's start with default values. To adjust the emotional intensity, modify the ECF scale parameter. We'll test it later by changing it between five and ten. Certainly, we can set the emotion. Float offers wide range of emotions such as angry, disgust, fear, happy, neutral, sad, and surprise. I'll test none first. Certainly, you can adjust the seed number for reproducibility. 
then hit run. For the first generation, it'll take a bit of time because the custom node will auto download the necessary models for you. No more frantic searching for files or wondering where they go. It's like Flow knows you just want to get to the fun part. Hey Steven, this workflow is super simple and easy to control. Now everyone can be a creator and director. Quickly play the output and I want to see how emotion is applied to the avatar. Sure, Agent K, let me play it. It's nice. Okay, let me get emotion into play. In order to see the distinctive emotion effect, first adjust the CFG scale from 1 to 7. Then pick the emotion. Maybe we can try all of them by start with angry. Boom, it's done. Let me send all the emotion generation requests to the queue. Pick disgust. Next up is fear. Then happy. I feel that neutral is same as none. Then sad. At last, surprise. Float is doing its thing. Look at that. Each generation was roughly 15 seconds. That's really speedy for local AI, especially if we compare that with Sonic or Latin Sync. All right, let's check out the results. AI Printify, we dare to rise. Paint the stars up in the skies. Share your spark, your flare, your flare. Tech that takes us everywhere. Code and canvas side by side. It's lovely. It's amusing how the same voice can convey such different emotions. Look at the fear expression aside from her facial expression. Her eyes add to the scare factor by looking away from us. It might be a bit too dramatic for my taste, but it's effective. Oh, oh, come on, Agent K, embrace the emotional drama. That's the unique feature of Float. By the way, let me show you the quality of using 2048 times 2048 picture. Set the emotion to neutral and lower the ECF scale to three. AI Printify, we dare to rise. Paint the stars up in the skies. You can see that the lip movements and the video quality are much more natural than what we saw with Latin Sync or even the older live portrait framework. Totally. It's not just masking the lip region anymore. Float handles the entire face, sensing facial expressions with the lips. That's a huge leap forward. Yes, this is just another example of how free local AI tools are empowering us to create incredible content right from our own machines. What do you guys think? Are you excited to try out Float? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next AI adventure! My friends, thank you for watching. Until next time, happy experimenting with local AI models.